Hey, my child, do you have five minutes for me? This week will be filled with amazing and unexpected occurrences from Monday to Sunday. Dreams, picture it. In the spirit of Isaiah 61, we are grateful for the anointing that you have placed upon us. Just as you sent Jesus to bring good news to the poor, bind up the brokenhearted, and proclaim liberty to the captives, we ask for your healing touch in every area of our lives. Replace our ashes with a beautiful headdress, our mourning with the oil of gladness, and our faint spirits with garments of praise. Make us oaks of righteousness, a testimony to your glory. We lift up to you our world that is in need of healing. Heal the brokenhearted and set captives free from all forms of bondage. Comfort those who mourn and bring restoration to the ruins and devastations of our time. As we lean not on our own understanding but trust in you with all our hearts, may our faith be a source of healing to our flesh and refreshment to our bones. Lord, we remember your promise in Psalm that you forgive all our iniquities and heal all our diseases. We bless your name and acknowledge your benefits. You are our portion, our joy, and our life. We surrender our burdens and concerns at your feet, knowing that you are more than enough to carry us through. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. We pray for those who are suffering, whether in body, mind, or spirit. We lift up the brokenhearted, the sick, and those facing battles we cannot see. Just as James instructs us, we call upon you to bring healing through the prayers of faith. Tonight, I work the night shift, not you. You'll realize my love when you recall the times I fought for you, held your hand, and pulled you from danger. I filled you with peace and rescued you from conflicts. Others may have left you, but I've always looked upon you with mercy, and my love for you continues to grow. These restored elements stand as a testament to God's faithfulness. Remember, your trials are not the end of your narrative. They are stepping stones to a grander destination. The miracles destined to unfold will inspire others, showing the unwavering trust in God's guidance in the face of adversity. These restored elements stand as a testament to God's faithfulness. Remember, your trials are not the end of your narrative. They are stepping stones to a grander destination. The miracles destined to unfold will inspire others, showing the unwavering trust in God's guidance in the face of adversity. God says, Treat people better than they treat you. Respect is their choice, but I will restore and deliver you. Trust in His promise, for He is faithful. Type Amen to affirm your belief in this message, referencing Deuteronomy. Dear God, today we come before you, surrendering our worries and fears. We trust in you, knowing that you hold our future. Help us to rest in your presence and find peace amidst life's storms, as expressed in Psalm. Let's say this prayer together, typing Amen in the comments section. Support our community and donate us through Super Thanks. Support our community and donate us through Super Thanks. Type Yes if you believe in God. God bless you.